Welcome back to FNTV at MWC 25. I'm Steve Saunders, and I'm delighted to be joined by Jonathan Wagner, Chief Commercial Officer of Alianza, a leader in cloud communications and a company at the center of the trend for helping carriers find new ways to monetize their voice and data networks. Jonathan, how are you working with carriers to, to help them find new ways to make money? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having us uh, out. We're having a, an incredible show. Hopefully you are yeah. as well. I mean, I think what we're doing is we're looking over the market and we're helping carriers recognize that they've got a gap to fill. Um, this, the research has shown that they've spent $3.6 trillion over the last decade modernizing, upgrading their networks. And what we've benefited from as consumers of those services is a 1,000% increase in network speeds. In the United States, for instance, Google Fiber, we can get an eight gig connection. Um, some would say we have enough. Some even describe this as a bandwidth glut. <laughs> um, but what hasn't kept up have been the user experiences. Um, so we see that uh, communications consumers these days have a choice. They can go to an over-the-top provider that answers the call of a cloud speed innovation. They can use things like self-service portals. They can get re near real-time uh, innovation delivered to them. These are things that service providers tend to, to struggle with. Mm. So in order to compete, we see that the service provider needs to take a new and fresh look at the user experience. Um, it's not going to be the pipes that sort of restore the telcos. It's going to be the user experience that will. Uh, that's fantastic analysis. I mean, they need to, carriers need to learn their lesson. You know, they mistook 5G for 4G, where 4G just increased the capacity and people were happy to pay for it so that they could get video. Correct. But we're not in that uh, that era now. We're in the 5G era. I mean, are you adding features into your portfolio uh, which carriers can look at and say, hey, I could use that for, I don't know, virtual reality or video conferencing or, or things like that? Because the end user will pay for something they can't get right now. Yeah, I mean, I think the interesting thing is we look at innovation on, on two different vectors. There's one which is the innovation that can be driven to the end customer, and we see a lot of that innovation being, uh, being driven up market. Mm. The unified communications players, the contact center players um, have really shoved uh, AI-based functionality up there, whether it's real-time translations um, or any of those features are call transcripts at the end of a meeting. But none of that has found its way down into just regular voice calls, much less anything in the residential market. So we really take a look at how we can drive AI to Main Street or AI to dial tone. That's really where this resurgence is going to come. So you're saying there's life in the old voice network yet? Yeah, voice isn't dead yet. No, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's fundamental. That's what we're <laughs> of doing course, here, of, of course. course. But, but I think that is interesting that uh, you really are trying to invert uh, the attitude of, uh, I think, a lot of carriers where it's like it's all about the data and the data application. So that's very interesting. Um, but AI can enable uh, that transition, that transformation? How does that work? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think it's, it's looking at those use cases that make us better, smarter, make us get our jobs done uh, easier. And, I, and earlier I mentioned that there were, there were two vectors, the first one obviously being the user experience. The other one is what are the functionalities that artificial intelligence or machine learning or cloud computing can do to help service providers operationalize their networks or run better, smarter networks, be able to be more resilient, be able to solve customer challenges quicker. Mm -hmm. um, that's really where we come into play. Uh, we are service provider focused. Uh, we know what it takes to run and operate a network and what it takes to delight customers. And so you know, that's why we believe we're the chosen partner to help sort of curate a path for service providers as they go and take, care of the, uh, take advantage of these new technologies. Tell us about your uh, telecom 4.0 model, because there isn't a lot of high level uh, understanding of uh, how the new telecom network works. Just give us a 30 seconds on it, if you can. Oh, you're asking a sales guy to give you 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think in the telco 3.0 world, we saw where the features were divorced from the underlying access when we moved to voice over IP. Uh, now again, as telco networks evolved, uh, they need things like resiliency, mm -hmm. they need things like elasticity, they need things like self-healing networks. These are the, the benefits that you get by modernizing your network, by taking advantage of the cloud. And it's not just a public cloud. We also have been having meetings today with some innovative uh, European operators that are deploying their own private cloud instances to take advantage of this functionality because they realize the current Telco 3.0 or even yeah. some of these are deploying Telco 2.0, they're just stuck in a cul-de-sac of technology. Yeah, and you bought Metaswitch, which is a company uh, you know, I'm very familiar with. Um, what role will that play? 
uh, the MetaSwitch uh, acquisition closed yesterday. We announced it yesterday, so we're super excited. Mm. Um, it really augments our portfolio. It expands our port portfolio. You know, one of the things we recognize as we're dealing with service providers is the migration step is sort of the hardest step that service providers have to go to go through, and it's typically a big band aid that you have to rip off. Um, however, we believe that with the MetaSwitch assets, the great, uh, incredible technology that we acquired from MetaSwitch, we can actually take advantage in, of the cloud speed innovation, mm -hmm. uh, be able to meet these customers where they are on their journey, modernize these building blocks that the service providers have mm -hmm. relied on for years to deliver these, mess these uh, services. And I think we can do it in a way that uh, can allow them to preserve their brand, preserve yeah. their user experience. Well, I talked to some of the MetaSwitch team uh, at the football on Sunday, and I can tell you they feel like they're in a happy place now. That's so good. they're in a good company with Alianza. And uh, you know, thank you so much. What a what a clear and, and and crystal clear vision that you have for helping these carriers monetize their service. Thanks, Jonathan. Great. Thank you, Steve.